Okay. Why does NH3 have a lower boiling point than H2O? Uh, so, why does NH3 um, have lower boiling point than um, H2O. So, let's actually uh, quickly draw the Lewis uh, diagrams. We're not going to go through guys some of the questions asking. I'm just going to draw it out, simply put. And we have solved NH3 already. Okay. And H2O. Okay, so with this being said though, okay, it's kind of tricky at first glance to understand why, but in terms of um, the um, lone pairs that does play a role in it, now for this, the reason why NH3 have a lower boiling point is because yes, actually, I would say that um, this part, I don't agree with that. Second part says that it has twice the hydrogen bonds than NH3. Every bond with that nitrogen has with hydrogen, that's a hydrogen bond. So all these are hydrogen bonds because they're all with N. So that has three hydrogen bonds, right? And water has only two hydrogen bonds. In fact, I actually see what they're saying because maybe they're on something. So, how many hydrogen bonds are in NH3? Ammonia can form two hydrogen bonds, not one. Now I'm more confused. Ammonia has a capability for four hydrogen bonds. Uh, I'm just going to stick with my answer because <laughs> two is between, I mean, three is between four and two. So I wouldn't just look at the hydrogen bonds, actually. Um, it looks, I would look at actually how hard both water and nitrogen want to fight for um, keeping their hydrogen bond. So let's say this hydrogen wants to leave, right, to form OH minus, okay, which it does. That um, it's something that water really will struggle against because it doesn't have many hydrogens. It wants to have as many hydrogen bonds as possible while still keeping its, um, you know, its uh, electron charge is zero, right? Because right now it's at zero. So they're fairly similar, but the difference is that water has, it's a bigger impact for it to lose. Um, water losing one hydrogen bond, meaning that now it only has one left. Nitrogen, the way I see it, is that it has three hydrogen bonds, so losing one isn't as energy draining compared to water because it's actually like it's losing a hydrogen in worst case scenario just so that that way it can be like NH2 minus, but it still has at least those hydrogen bonds, those other two to kind of buffer it. Um, but point being though is that I think that. Um, hmm, I mean, the answer they have is definitely correct, um, but I would say it's more so because oxygen, to lose a whole hydrogen just takes more energy because there's less of it to spare. That's the way I'd put it. Um, and also, the other thing you can use as well, actually, go to the periodic table, okay? Nitrogen, oxygen activity is 3.04, oxygen is 3.44, okay? Each bond with hydrogen, okay? is stronger for oxygen than nitrogen because there's a higher electronegative difference. So because of that, water, that's a very polar covalent bond that water does not want to really get rid of. Hence why the hydrogen bonds are stronger there as well. So if anything, I'll refer to electronegativity to kind of determine that. But nonetheless, this is correct. 
So yeah, that's why NH3 has a lower boiling point because for one, oxygen has more to lose technically because it only has two hydrogens to begin with. And two, the electronegative difference between oxygen and hydrogen is greater than the electronegative difference between uh, nitrogen and hydrogen, okay? I wouldn't really talk about the shape because although oxygen is bent like that and nitrogen is kind of like um, this, um, I wouldn't really know specifically how shape plays into um, the actual um, a stronger bond. But overall though, I do agree that HO has a higher boiling point and that's one of the reasons why. Um, so I'm going to mark this as correct uh, because we may just be arguing semantics. We may actually end up being saying the same thing, but I'm approaching a different method. Uh, but uh, I would just actually put uh, make sure to mention electrolytivity difference as well. So yeah, that was the last question for this session. So I just want to thank you again for joining me this morning. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And yeah, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your Saturday, go out, have fun. If you want more help when it comes to these type of chemistry questions, definitely check out the links in the description below. Book a time with one of our tutors here and just uh, really get really familiar with these concepts. Uh, thanks again and have a great rest of your day.